Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 23rd of October to the 27th of October 2017. Starting with the US dollar index and oil, we're going to run through a number of currency pairs looking at the key levels of support and resistance in the process. We're also going to highlight some of the targets that we're looking for in the coming week and weeks ahead. So I hope you all had a great week last week. I hope you're all having a nice weekend. Let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. Starting with the US dollar index. Now we bounced from the key area of support at the 92.635 last week. And we said we were looking up towards the target of the 93.455 area, which as you can see, we actually completed last week. And we go into next week above this key area of resistance at 93.455. And so we are looking for further advances in the US dollar index. And as long as we stay above this key area of resistance, we're looking up towards the target of the 93.03. Now, if we start to break back down below this key area of resistance, we'll be looking back down towards the 92.635 area of support. As we highlighted last week, well, there is a risk we could start going into this kind of range in pattern like this. But as we start the week above this key area of resistance, we are looking for further advances in the US dollar index next week. Next, we're going to have a look at oil. Now, oil bounced from the key area of support at the 51.25 last week. As you can see, we had a smaller term breakout of the trend line down in this area here. And we are looking for further advances in oil. Now, first, what we would like to see is a correction take place in oil so we can get involved at a better price. And we're going to be looking down towards this area for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to look to take those bullish formations and patterns up towards the target in the next key area of resistance next week at the 52.76. The first pair we're going to look at is the Euro US dollar. Now last week, the Euro US dollar sold off from key area of resistance at the 1.18363. And as long as we stay below this key area of resistance, we are going to look for a correction. And after that correction takes place, we are going to look for bearish formations and patterns to appear. And we're going to be looking at taking those shorts, taking those bearish formations and patterns down towards the target of the 1.17225 area, which is the next key area of support in the euro US dollar. The next pair we're going to look at is the pound US dollar. Now, last week, the pound US dollar kind of crisscrossed over this key area of support at the 1.31550. So we go into this week with price sitting above the key area of support, but underneath this downward sloping trend line. So it's kind of in a bit of a no man's land. However, because we are still beneath the downward sloping trend line here, as you can see denoted by these highs over here, and because we start the week above the key area of resistance in the US dollar index, our bias will be to the downside in the British pound US dollar. And we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns to appear in this area. And we're going to be looking to initiate those shorts down towards the target and the next key area of support in the pound US dollar at the 1.30342. Now, if we get a breakout of this downward sloping trend line, we will look for a correction. We'll be looking for bullish formations and patterns to appear, and we'll be looking up towards the key area of resistance, next key area of resistance at the 1.32696. But as long as we stay below this downward sloping trend line, we will only be looking for shorts in this pair next week. The next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar Japanese yen. Now, last week, the price in the US dollar Japanese yen broke above the key area of resistance here at the 113.186. So the setup in the US dollar Japanese yen is fairly straightforward next week. We are looking for a pullback and a retest of this area, possibly a little bit deeper and a test of the upward sloping trend line. And we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns to appear in this area. And we're going to be looking to take those longs up towards a target of the 114.487, which is the next key area of resistance in the US dollar Japanese yen. The next pair we're going to look at is the Aussie US dollar. 
Now last week the Aussie US dollar sold off from the Kiev resistance at the 0 0.78728 and it came back down and it finished the week testing and sitting just above the Kiev support down here at the 0 0.78099 area. Now we're going to next week just above this key area support so we are going to be looking to see if bullish formations and patterns appear in this area and we're going to be looking to initiate those longs if we get those bullish formations and patterns up towards the top of the range here because you can see price has started to range and we're going to be looking to take those shorts up towards the top of the range here at 0 0.78728 and if we get a break through the top of this range over here we're going to be looking up towards the second target of the 0 0.79530. It is worth bearing in mind, however, that we are looking for further advances in the US dollar index next week. So if we do start to get a follow through and a push to the upside, now we've broken resistance in the US dollar index, we could see this support level come under a lot of pressure. And if we get a break down below this key area of support, we are going to be looking below this area for bearish formations and patterns to form. And we'll be looking down towards the targets of the 0 0.77838 and the 0 0.77482 respectively if we see that surge in the US dollar index and a push to the upside. The next pair we're going to look at is the New Zealand US dollar. Now last week you can see the New Zealand US dollar pretty much fell out of bed here and we had severe capitulation in the New Zealand US dollar off of the back of fundamental news, namely that the opposition party or the former opposition party in New Zealand are now going to be forming the main party of governance and as a result the markets have seen this as an uncertainty because at least with the previous government you knew what the policy would be but with a new government this brings with it possible policy changes and uncertainty hence why we saw this steep decline in the New Zealand US dollar last week. Now going into next week, we are looking for further declines in the New Zealand US dollar. You can see we also broke below key area of support here at the 0 0.70588. So we're looking for a correction in New Zealand US dollar, possibly a retest of broken support becoming resistance. And if we get that correction and possibly a retest of broken support becoming resistance, we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns to form in the New Zealand US dollar. And we're going to be looking down towards two targets to the downside, which is the 0 0.68640. And then if we get a breakthrough there, we're going to be looking down towards the 0 0.68217, which are the next two key areas of support to the downside in the New Zealand US dollar. The next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar Swiss franc. Now the US dollar Swiss franc broke above key area resistance, as you can see over here at the 0 0.97622 and we came back and tested this last week and we got a bounce from this area and a push to the upside. Now going into next week we are going to be looking for a correction to take place and we're going to be then looking for bullish formations and patterns to appear in this pair and we're going to be looking at initiating longs off the back of those bullish formations and patterns up towards the target of the 0 0.96480 which is the next key area resistance in the US dollar Swissy. The next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar CAD. Now last week we were looking for a test of the key area of support at the 1.24488. We started the week up here and we said if we get a pullback and a retest of this key area of support at the 1.24488, we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns to appear and we're going to be looking up towards the target here. And as you can see on testing this and a bounce from this area, we did get a very nice push to the upside. So for those of you in this trade and managing this trade to the upside, what we're looking for next week is a correction to take place. And we have here a kind of intermediate support and resistance level at the 1.25207. So if we get a pull back into this area, we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns to appear. And the chance here to add to this position up towards the first target at the 1.26325, which has not yet been completed. And if we get a push through here, we're going to be looking up towards the next target to the upside of the 1.27730 in the US dollar CAD. The next pair we're going to look at is the Aussie Japanese Yen. Now last week the Aussie Japanese Yen broke above key area of resistance the 88.337. So going into this week very simply we're looking for a pullback and a retest of broken resistance turning support. You can also see we have a confluence of the upward sloping trend line denoted by these lows over here. 
and we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns to form and we're going to be looking to take those bullish formations and patterns to initiate those longs up towards the target of the 89.352 which is the next key area of resistance in the Aussie Japanese yen. The next pair we're going to look at is the Aussie New Zealand. Now last week the Aussie New Zealand broke above key area of resistance at the 1.11276 off of the back of the fundamental news concerning the New Zealand government that we just spoke about. And it looks like we have the makings of a bull flag here and so what we are looking for next week is a correction back towards broken resistance to act as support would be absolutely perfect. And if we get a pullback into this area we're going to start to look for bullish formations and patterns to appear. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs, taking advantage of further declines in the New Zealand, up towards the target of the 1.13426, which is the next key area of resistance to the upside in the Aussie New Zealand. And finally, we are going to look at New Zealand Swiss franc. Now, New Zealand Swiss franc broke below two key areas of support at the 0.69867 and also the key area of support at the 0.68894 for the back of the fundamental news last week. Going into next week, we are looking for further declines in the New Zealand Swiss franc, and we're going to be looking for a pullback and a retest of broken support to act as resistance at the 0.68894. And if we get a pullback and a test of this area, we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns to form. And we're going to be looking at shorting those patterns down towards the target of the 0.67251, which is the next key area of support in the New Zealand Swissy. So that is it from me for this week, guys. As always, if you like this video, please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. A big thank you to all of you who do that on a regular basis. I very much appreciate you. And I tell you this every week because I do. I hope you'll have a fantastic week next week. I hope you'll have a very nice remainder of the weekend. All that's left to say is take care and don't forget to trade safely.